Today marks International Women's Day, one that recognizes the achievements of women socially, culturally, and politically. Vermont's Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray used today as an opportunity to address the state's crucial need to support women impacted by the pandemic. In the month of November, 73% of unemployment claims were filed by women in the state of Vermont. That is the highest percentage of filings by women in any state in the nation. Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray, the fourth woman in Vermont's history to serve the state's second highest office, says the pandemic has shined a light on the economic challenges faced by Vermont women. Today felt really important to also recognize um, so much of what we have to do here in the state to close the gap for women. Gray was joined by four panelists, including the executive director of the Vermont Commission on Women. The pandemic just really made that so much worse with childcare being closed, with schools being closed. Uh, mothers reduced their working time by 50% more than fathers did. Carrie Brown adds the pandemic has reduced women's hours by nearly four to five times compared to men, resulting in other hardships, namely food insecurity. So before COVID-19, one in 10 Vermonters were experiencing hunger or food insecurity. Now it's one in three Vermonters. Susanna Davis, the state's racial equity director, discussed the wage gap for women and women of color. Women across the board are working into 2021 to catch up to what a man has made in calendar 2020. So, for example, um, equal pay day for all women in America is March 24th. That's a little more than two weeks away. But Davis points out for women of color, that date is five, six, or even seven months away. Using myself as an example, I will need to work until the end of October, until basically Halloween, to earn what a similarly situated man would have earned in January 1 of last year if we both started working the same day. Gray's seat at the table comes as the Senate passed a $1.9 trillion COVID relief package that would help working families and provide funding across the board. Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.